family is dropping me off. Pike is gonna do that and not let me know that you're filming. Look at the kitties in the back. Oh, got a little. Look at them. I'm not a kitty. The kitties in the back on my way to school. <sighs> it's Friday. I'm so it's ready. Friday. I'm ready for a break. Which is not really a break because I have four tests next week. And we come back on Wednesday. Ah! Anyways, um, I'm about to go head up into this school. So I will hit you guys up later. Look how bright you are in black eyes. <laughs> It's Adana. I am back with another video about my journey in PA school. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I really, really appreciate it. As you guys can see, I'm a little bit more light and playful. I'm really like just kind of calmed a little bit more. And that's because I've made it through a full month of PA school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you guys so I'm super excited about that I really didn't know um, if I could make it honestly and that's because of the rejection that I got prior to getting into PA school I applied to quite a few PA schools maybe last year and I got rejected from them and that's because I didn't necessarily look at some of the stipulations or um, admissions requirements as closely as I should have but also I guess maybe I didn't meet um, their standards, I don't know. But these are the kind of thoughts that go through your head when you get rejected from PA school or anything, honestly. You're like, okay, God, so uh, is this really what I'm supposed to be doing? I feel called to this. Is it just my thing or is this your, like, are you actually telling me to do this? And so those are kind of the self talks that you have with yourself. But I, I, I implore you guys, persevere, stay strong. You will not regret it. Uh, if you really, really feel called to this profession, to medicine, to healthcare, to acting, to whatever it is that you want to do, stay strong and persevere because it will work out in the end. Look at me. I am in PA school. I am a whole month into PA school and I'm doing fine. I'm doing well. Although it is stressful, it is a lot of work. I am doing okay and I am sticking through it. So I encourage you guys to do the same. Get your patient contact hours in. Get all of the shadowing that you can and make sure that you're doing well on those prerequisites and just stay strong. <laughs> And, and apply. You might go broke initially, which is what I did when I applied to those schools and I got rejected and they took all of my money, my supplemental application money and just my application money in general, but I, I stayed strong. I went back, I did more classes, I boosted my GPA even more and I got in. So you can do it. This week in PA school I was, it was a little bit of a light week, although I had two tests and two quizzes, um, I was able to actually go out and do one of our selfie challenges. So we have this thing in our intro to profession, intro to the profession class, where we have to go out and take selfies or groupies or essies around town, just getting to know the city that we're in and um, the DPT students, the doctorates of physical therapy students in conjunction with that because we have to take some of the pictures with them. And it was really fun. I had a great time. It was light. Uh, it was beautiful outside. We went to this beautiful garden. That was one of the places we needed to take a picture. Get in here, Ashley. <laughs> this is one of our assignments. This is Ashley. Hi. She's in the program with me. <laughs> yes. There's actually two sisters in the program. Mm -hmm. Actually, there's four of us. Mm -hmm. That is so amazing mm -hmm. because really for minorities, um, it's, I don't know, they yeah, say that they want diversity, yeah. but it's really hard to get into PA school. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. kudos to us mm -hmm. <laughs> for getting in. But yeah. we have to take pictures um, at these different places mm -hmm. in town. And so this is one of our places, this beautiful garden. Let's take you on a, on a journey. <laughs> A journey. <laughs> Follow me as we walk into this beautiful garden, you guys. It's really nice, actually. And it's a really good day. Like, it's a little humid, so my hair is doing a bit of like a crazy thing right now, but it's okay. All right, see you guys later. Bye. So that was me in the garden. <laughs> I had so much fun, you guys. Um, I was just ready to go home as well. Like it was nice and light. I didn't want to go back to school, but I had to. So, because um, that was during my lunch break. But 
it was fun. I had a great time and I'm really glad that I was able to just break from school for a minute because our Fridays are a little bit lighter than every other day. Although we still get out at 5 o'clock in the evening, um, we have quite a few hours of breaks during the day before one. So that was really um, just nice to be able to relax. Also, I am the official first year coordinator of my class. So coordinator you guys so what that means is I am like basically the therapist of the class but more so I'm just like the go-between I am the person that if our my cohort has an, an issue with maybe a uh, class that's going on or maybe we have a few tests and we maybe want to move one or if we're having a problem with something faculty wise we can we they come to me and then I go to the faculty and I voice our concerns and vice versa so I'm the voice of both the cohort and the faculty so it's really like a nice little meld of juggling that I have to do um, being able to be understanding to my classmates but also being able to share whatever the faculty wants them to know so I'm really excited for this uh, this journey that I'm about to be on and just the opportunity for leadership um, it's always great to hone in on your leadership skills especially if you want to be in um, healthcare where you will have subordinates in a sense underneath you where you will have people that may be working in tandem with you but you also have to direct them so it's good to do that you get to work on your interpersonal skills and just how to deliver things really well so I'm excited you guys really really excited first year coordinator of the student society really really happy about that I do have a confession to make although I'm so light and happy right now I'm really 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 nervous you guys uh, I have four tests well, that, that was eight. <laughs> I have four tests. I have four tests this week and two quizzes. And um, the week is short. It starts on Wednesday because we have 4th of July. And I have to do two tests back-to-back -back and two quizzes back-to-back. -back. So there's three things that I have to study for um, for each day. And I'm really nervous, you guys. But I'm going to stay strong. I'm going to persevere. Word of the day, persevere. I'm going to persevere. I'm gonna knock these tests out and I am gonna get through this hell week because that's what it is. I'm gonna get through it and I will let you guys know about it next week when I come back. Um, if you have any questions, comments, leave them in the comment section below. I will be sure to get back to them. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you guys joining me on this journey. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit that like button. If you really like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. Be sure to hit that notification button so you can know exactly when I'm coming up with a new video and guys I am still raising money fundraising for my tuition for my full year's tuition so go ahead and hit my GoFundMe page up it will be in the description box below so that you can go ahead and support me on this journey I really really appreciate it um, thank you guys so much for watching see you next week bye